Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! And welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another After Buzz TV after show for. Call the midwife, the penultimate episode of these season five. Yeah. So I'm John Comerford, joined in the studio by Tamara Bird. Hi, everybody. And Courtney Stewart. Hello. Marissa's uh, out tonight. Marissa's out, out today. She's doing so another podcast. Yeah, we're just doing another podcast. Wish her well. Uh, I hope to have her back for the finale. Yes. So uh, oh, this was kind of a very interesting episode, and you know, a bunch of storylines, a lot mm-hmm. of cutting back. The storm creates all kinds yeah. of havoc. Chaos. Yeah, exactly. And I, what, what I wanted to start out with, with Daisy and the barges, because I thought that was great. You know, mm-hmm. we haven't really been on the barges yeah. here and stuff. And I think that's such a fascinating, for those of us who don't live yeah. in the country, it's a fascinating area. And I, I've, uh, you know, I've seen other shows uh, take uh, episodes there and everything, but this was great. Yeah, and kind of the opposite of how it is in California, where if you <laughs> yeah. live on your boat, you are yeah. super fabulously wealthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. The totally different not, world. Not totally quite how it is totally there. Totally not quite how it is. Yeah. But I also just like the way they started out. You know, we start, the episode started out in the sanctuary mm-hmm. and Monica Jones. I'm mm. sorry, not Monica Jones, it's Julian. Julian. And you know the, the obviously the voiceover and stuff like that, but it set a great tone. But then I was really enamored of the shots that they picked when we were out on the locks, mm-hmm. when you know Daisy's opening up the lock and she falls, and then we have that nice Boys shot up. of the rise, yeah. and, and we had right the, with her in the foreground. Ball. We had the pull, f- the, yeah, the pull focus, the focus yeah. pull. Excuse me, uh, and I was going, okay, we're oh, all right, we're in, we get fancy, here. nice, let's yeah. get some good things going on here. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then this whole thing with Daisy, with her, you know, she had this sense of pride, and yeah. And Tammy, you, you were talking a little bit about it when, when, when we saw it about how you don't understand, you know, why they should oh, just have, they have this stance. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you know, I, I did not grow up poor. Um, and so this, this, but it's also common with um, like World War II veterans, yeah. American World War II mm-hmm. veterans that, that I have. And we've actually seen it a little bit yeah. in Call the Midwife with... Um, this idea of I don't need your help, I don't need your charity. No charity. Yeah, they want, they want um, to be on the dole. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, and it's, it's an insult you know, and affront. Mm-hmm. And it and it indicates your socioeconomic status and that sort of thing. Yeah. And so, I, I, in one sense, I don't really understand it, what it is to be um, prideful about that. Mm-hmm. But it was, you know, it's these incredible women from call the midwife, you know, from Nanatus yeah. and the midwives, who are all about. Um, being kind and sensitive Mm -hmm. and also uh you know in this case patsy was explaining to daisy there are so many things that are available to you and it's not just you it's um you know it's you know orange juice and uh what not rose water um rose Rose syrup syrup, um for your children because the the government has chosen to make our entire society as Mm -hmm. you know healthy and sustainable as we can Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if that changes the um, perception of the people watching as well as the people yeah. accepting or not. But mm-hmm. and yeah, it was just a conversation I was sort of thinking. Because the other thing mm-hmm. I thought was interesting about it is she wasn't even aware. Daisy wasn't even aware that these things were available to at her. all. Well, know. why but would she, she be? Because I, exactly, she's on exactly. all the time. I, and and, and in, in the country, but not of the country. The country. Oh, but in yeah. a weird way, it was like wow. Mm, yeah. And it, you know, it happens all the time. It's not like it. You know, we see it here. Yeah. We see yeah. it everywhere. But it's fascinating when it's dramatized like that because mm-hmm. I just kind of go, oh, that's. Why would she know? Yeah. She, yeah. First of all, she can't even read. Yeah. No. And, and you know they didn't have their iPhone to look at to everything. Look it up real quick. And can't they're just going up and down news sources. Up and down yeah. the bar, you know. Yeah. So how would they know all these things? And, they wouldn't. Uh, yeah. So there you go. The other thing that I really liked about that whole um, community of mm-hmm. the bargers. Oh yeah. Or the bargees. Um, was you the know, names it, of the boats? <laughs> <laughs> the names of the boats. The painting on the boats. Yeah, painting on the boats. Yeah. And that sense of community. Mm-hmm. You know, they yes. talked about um, mm-hmm. how 
um, we do everything together, mm -hmm. you know, because the kids don't even go to school. Right. They're helping no. out. Mm -hmm. um, that the husband, unlike a lot of the husbands that we see in this mm -hmm. show, you know, there's more of that class distinction of I'm the breadwinner. When I right. get home, I need my slippers and my newspaper. You know, with that, with the the bargers, it was very much about like we're living together, we're doing things. It's yep. kind of have to be with yeah. those kind of closed. The quarters. division of labor was very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah, and also, she, you know, doing the locks is woman's work. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, my mother, all this other stuff. There's that. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And then also when um, when we got to the birth, mm -hmm. uh, which of course we're going to get to eventually. But just speaking of the community, um, Patsy arrives and says, you know, I friends. don't want to keep you from your friends. friends. I want to respect your, yeah. you know, your boundaries and your um, your sense of community that you have. And she's like, I've never yeah, actually yeah. met them before. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, <laughs> these aren't friends. And I totally bought it. I was yeah. going, of course they know each, each other. other. They, they're up and down the barge no. all the time. They'd wave it. No, not no, even that. Not even. But, but it doesn't mean we're not friends. friends. No, not at all. Exactly. And they Loved were so it. they were so giving as well. And it, didn't it remind you of the travel of travelers? Yes. Yeah. Because, exactly. You know, they have their wagons that are all painted, painted and, and, and they do everything. Have the very much and so right? yeah I, and, and hence the term the water sea. gypsies yes, yes exactly and I, itinerant and mm -hmm. like, yeah but yeah. I, I was just fascinated but because it's a world i didn't know and I'm, i hadn't seen it and it's like yeah, yeah yeah but they made the correlations between other uh worlds that basically do the same thing mm. and i was fascinated that the school thing just wasn't even an issue at this point in time because yes. it's what 60 early 60s yeah I think yeah. We're in 61 well, 61 or 61, or 61. Okay, so I, I mean and I don't know like in terms of education and when people are starting to try to require elementary education yeah. for whatever so I don't know really know when that came about but I was just kind of just taken aback that like it wasn't a big deal to them right they weren't in school like maybe if it yeah. was like no we really need them but i would like them to go to school no it was there was no intention yeah, to, yeah, like, yeah. send them no, to school no. at all right so I, even I the way she looked really at lou and said do you want to go to school yeah it's just <laughs> she, like it's your decision and, if you and, want. and lou absolutely yeah. wanted to go she did and daisy's so surprised by yeah. it. yes <laughs> exactly really? and, yeah, yeah and, and i just i love that shot of those kids they're all you know clean <laughs> They got all clean. <laughs> and they're all so happy to be, I don't know what they were eating or whatever. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Oh, Probably jam. <laughs> yeah, right. Jam is delicious. Kind of, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. On some kind of delicious But of toast. course, uh, that, of course, Daisy can't have any of those things because pride's getting in the way again. Yeah. yeah. The whole idea of wearing clothes that have been stamped Stamp. with property of, I think just, you know, sweet to row. And it's such a careful line that the providers have yeah. to walk too, mm -hmm. because you know, I don't want to give your kids new clothes because they're yeah. stinky and yeah. ratty. <laughs> you can't really. I want to give them these clothes so that they will fit in. Yeah. And you know, it's not no. that that's not true, but it is yeah. a kinder way of delivering that message. Yeah, but but a great that's, argument for yeah. Daisy too is like, well, yep. they're not going to they're going to they're going to they're they're last five seconds exactly. at the party. It's yeah. still obvious who they are. <laughs> it's yeah. not going to change. It. Yeah. So again, it's a great. One and the thing. de lousing. Yeah. Well, always a good de lousing yeah. is in order. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. Oh, I think it smells rather really nice. <laughs> yeah, it smells very fresh. <laughs> It wasn't me who required it. It was somebody else. <laughs> <Went preventative. laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I was just fascinated by the whole storyline. And I thought, you know, Daisy, the character, I'm sorry, the, the actress that was playing it just did a fabulous job. I completely bought everything. Yeah. And, you know, was uh, just bothered and upset about her pride mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. away. So yeah. just come, they're trying to help you. Yeah. 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 Especially she was getting healthy and the turn that yeah. she made yes. when they, the kids yeah. came in and all of that, like the, mm -hmm. her face, she did a great job. Yeah. There's yeah. help. Shift. And then there's, there's interference. interference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then the husband was just so happy. Like, I, they're just trying yeah. to help. Yeah. And I was like, listen to your husband. Yeah. 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 And then I think that all works for me because she talked about her mo grandmother and her mother. Mm -hmm. and there's that whole lineage. And, and even when she's talking to, after the birth, when she's talking to the child, and she's saying, we know where we belong. <laughs> yeah, and who, who we, we are. are. Where we belong and stuff yeah. Like that, so. Yeah. Um, also, she had delivered all of her prior babies Ooh, alone. Yeah. alone. Alone on a boat. Like, what? Like, yeah. Alone. Uh -huh. I just. Mm, uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, girl. Yeah, way to go. Good to you. <laughs> but she was wow. it's at least smart enough to realize that she didn't want to do this one alone. Mm -hmm. Right. Because yeah. the last one was tough. Yeah, yeah. And I think I need help this time. And so, what? Wait, okay, so we're back on the barge and she's about to deliver, and the friends are there, friends in quotes. And they all say, We'll take the kids. And they say, But what about uh, Lou here? Because uh, she looks like she's old enough to help out. And, I, and I'm going, 
uh, <laughs> you know, and I would have thought technically, <laughs> yeah, that she would have told. But I, I thought it was nice that uh, mom said, "No, no, no, send her, send her." Yeah, well, yeah. Did, Lou's eyes were big as saucers when <laughs> no, they said exactly. that. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm not ready <laughs> for this." She already <laughs> threw the bucket and ran away. <laughs> right, I <laughs> know she does exactly. not want to see this happen. <laughs> I forgot about throwing the bucket. That's nice. Actually, I think she threw the bucket after that. But anyway, it's, you know, it's all the same thing. No, that was before. Oh yeah, because it was before the midwife came because yeah. she went to get her. Yeah, she threw so the bucket. Before. That's when she threw the bucket. And then went to get the midwife. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah, uh, but that was nice. I enjoyed it. And then they had they had the nice moments between Delia. I'm sorry, not Delia, Patsy and Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Uh, she mm. got a good resolve on that. Nice little chat. Yeah, and um, Daisy being uh, appropriately um, admonished, uh, self-admonished, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. humbled about right. what she yeah. had yeah. said, mm-hmm. and you know, regretted it. To right. regretful, I guess is the even, word. Even though for. she said to her husband mm-hmm. that you know we had words and I meant them. I meant but them, but words, it was still probably not, not the right thing to she, do. She made her an, an appeasement, shall we? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the moment with the baby's born, the girl is born. Yeah. And she doesn't want the cord cut. Yeah. That was really lovely, I thought. Mm-hmm. It was and unexpected. I, I was coming I was from like, her. Weird. I had, yeah, what? it was weird a What's little bit. But, okay. Oh. But <laughs> but what she said about it was interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. That about Good. being connected, yeah. completely connected to another person, mm-hmm. uh, some mm-hmm. something and someone bigger than you. Right. And remember, she d- she was the one who made that choice at what time that would happen with all prior oh, four of yeah, her kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. and I loved Patsy, you know, respecting that choice and going, mm-hmm. okay. And it was just an extension of her philosophy that we do everything together. I mean, I know that's kind of a weird thing, but they're mm-hmm. bonded. They yeah. are bonded. So I, I get that. She's not you thought ready. it was weird? Init- I mean, when she yeah. said it, I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah. It, no, but, I had the same I mean, feeling. But it makes sense it like, that, we, and it, that we've that we sort of taken that out of the equation. It's yeah. very like it's boom, clinical it's all, and exactly. take it off. And, uh, but you forget that that's a big deal. Like yeah. you're right. holding on to life. That's beyond the apron like, string. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's, that's deep. Like, and that's just interesting. Yeah. And it's interesting that that's she would line. have that thought too. Yeah. Because she's being such a practical right. gotta do what That's I gotta right. do type exactly. of woman but to no. recognize and embrace that this sort moment, of moment it's is not amazing. just a not just yeah, cut it, it off all much right more meaning on to the next absolutely yeah. well, and yeah. also to a certain degree I think about ceremony mm-hmm. you yeah. Know? yeah the right of it uh, yeah. Th- yeah. Yeah. yeah and I thought it was you know again something uh, of all the births we've seen we've never they just found another way it's like yeah. okay and the yeah. cord was they had to move the cord across yeah and it was like okay they could uh, they somehow they can. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, all right. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, 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 Gina and uh, Barbara having to deal with the disinterested the, husband. Well, the she's disinterested husband, yeah. the woman who's nesting. She's being. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's this, this is the first time we've seen nesting, isn't it? I, mean, I think I, so. I, I, we, yeah. I mean, we made a bit of hint, a hint of it before, of but this was yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and they were, seemed to be in this almost the exact same. I think it was. Was it? Yeah, as typhoid, the typhoid yes, woman ty- typhoid. Mm-hmm. moved into one, one of the one council of apartments. Yes, and so I think it was the same set. Yeah, could have been, but maybe that's why she shot at different angles and everything, which was good. Maybe that's why she's painting because the set decoration didn't quite get to that. But they all the same anyway so yeah, that's true. it made sense but I, I like that we went back there I like that mm-hmm. you know because I thought that was interesting it's part of the you mm-hmm. know progression that's of history community. and again here's another time where we see a husband who uh, in a slightly different way we don't no. you say why is Not he sure just interested we don't know what's going on and mm-hmm. again we get that the information parceled out yeah uh, and I, I thought this was an interesting take because it wasn't until we realized I only knew each other three, three months, months. It's like, oh, That's okay. Why. He yeah. doesn't even know you, right? And so, and and take that in connection with the fact that they're doing this whole pill, pill storyline. And I'm going, oh, okay, got it. Here, mm-hmm. nice, keep things going. And I was just, I, I liked it, I, and mm-hmm. I liked his turn. I mean, I thought the whole thing was good. That was lovely, mm-hmm. you know, because he was he was disinterested. He seemed even also. Frightened, frightened, yeah, you know, yeah. in yeah. in a very manly way, um, about right. what you know about I, what's going on. Honestly, yeah. also just annoyed, annoyed, annoyed I, with the yeah. noise, and it's like, what about what, she my life? Is this? And she, yeah, he's holding his ears. I was like, wait a minute, yeah. dude. I was like, <laughs> I was going, oh, dude, this. If what you're not, you if doing? you can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask a question because I didn't quite understand this. So they're living in the estates, the 
I think this is low income housing, right? Is it or is it just the most hey, modern yeah. housing? Yeah, I, okay, I we don't think know. It's public housing sure. to some degree. And, but they had a registry and got nearly everything, everything on their registry. So they were clearly not, um, you know, the disadvantaged mm -hmm. folks of Poplar that we've seen so much because yeah. they had a very nice apartment yeah. with that w was well, you know, appointed and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I was just, I, I, you know, I was just trying to kind of trying to figure out what that meant. Like, did that mean that he came from a wealthy family and was rushed into? I mean, we can we can I, just I, speculate. Yeah, I, I don't even know if it was wealthy. wealthy I family. just think he was, you know, uh, I don't think they were wealthy. I think they were just. Uh, Comfortable, perhaps, comfortable maybe, yeah. and just had a reputation get, get that back. they both had to uphold. Exactly, on some because level, it's 61, know. and just like we talked about last week, reputation, shame, all those things mm -hmm. that they have to deal with. Or, yeah. And it's still due to some degree. I think that was just all part of it. This is what you did. Yeah. Right. You three months, you made a mistake. Mm, guess what? Yeah. For life. You didn't have the pill because we <laughs> we're just getting it now. It's just coming. You, you didn't. You could have just uh, held on for another yes. few months. Mm -hmm. You didn't. May yeah. I say it? penis you didn't put anything yes. on your penis yes you may <laughs> yes, you, by all means is what you by said. all means yeah, yeah so oh. uh, and because of that now you're pregnant there you go so mm -hmm. but uh it, interesting how uh, you know the whole thing with barbara and they, had, they ran out of ga the gas so they got to call phyllis and, and just a way to keep more uh, midwives in the storyline yeah. almost Keep them busy. Uh, exactly. But I thought the way Phyllis was in this was, because, you know, we started out in the episode and she's talking about the Beverly, Beverly girls. girls. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she knows being the prick that she is and stuff. And, yeah. All right, people. Um, yeah. In uh, check my Twitter feed when you get a chance. Earlier today, I received, well, I'll retweet What's it. What's your Twitter feed? Um, at Tamara Berg. Um, thank you, Caroline. Um, I'm going to retweet what she sent me this morning, oh which is. Oh, my God. Is, it's fabulous. Here we go. It's a YouTube. Um, yeah, okay, I'm tweeting thing. it right now. Okay. No, um, it's a YouTube video uh -huh. with the Beverly Sisters, oh, the and Beverly it's sisters. freaking. Hilarious. It was amazing. And when I saw the real thing, I laughed even more <laughs> at the show because it was <laughs> perfect the way they had them staged. staged. Oh my right god, there. it was hysterical. <laughs> It was great. And then, you know, Phyllis, you know, admonishing them for being fine, fine. <laughs> being on time. On they time. weren't even late. They were they were, late. They were yeah, on time. On time. <laughs> but and, if you're on time, you're and late. And talking about uh, Trixie right. and her eye makeup. And, I, I mean, I was just, yep. I was, all right, Phyllis, uh, I guess the Spanish classes have, uh, you know, finished and she's, she's uh, back to her old self her old there. Self. <laughs> yeah. She's not calm anymore. <laughs> no. But then the way she, you know, because that's where she started, Phyllis, and the way she handled uh, Gina, I thought was just fabulous. Yeah. And Leslie, uh, her husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, just, you know, in, in command, but with sensitivity and kindness, yeah. always. Yeah, yeah. And you scream all you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when somebody like that tells yeah. you that, yeah. you know you're in good hands, yeah. you know, and, and right? Just, just things like, don't worry about it now. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me about that. And, you know, having to walk, you know, no power going no up those stairs. Oh, my God, Eighth the whole floor. thing. And, yeah. and, 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 and let's, even the whole thing with the husband when giving the baby to him down the stairs and helping the, oh, the yeah. Gina, oh, well, putting them in the ambulance and, you know, saying, look, you don't need me anymore. You got him. Because, you know, she's just yeah. leading him down the path, literally, of Maybe fatherhood, giving him the baby, yeah. leading him down the step, putting in the Help thing, the yeah, sitting them next to each other. I mean, here's <laughs> how you do it because obviously somebody never showed him, <laughs> right? <laughs> or he, he was, was just incredibly in resistant. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was yeah. in his own way. Yeah. But That's it's cool true. how that sort of you watch her sort of put those pieces together, yeah. and they just keep revealing little pieces, little of pieces. her and her yeah. story. Yeah, and exactly. Because you did. Um, yeah, let's so talk about like, that. Oh, so after the baby's born, and they're coming. Out and they have a barley sugar, whatever mm -hmm. the hell that is. <laughs> Maybe sure someone will tell us. I'm yeah. sure it's a hard candy because we've been talking about it. Yeah. Barley yeah. sugar, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we learned that you know, of course, she was born out of wedlock. Yes. I think we had hit we, yeah, that. Yeah, we knew that. We knew yeah. that. Yeah. But, but you know, I just love the way she's. Oh, I don't talk about it much. Like who would? Yeah. But you know, you know so. And then she reveals her little tryst. Yes. yes. Was, it, was it Air Force? Yes, yes. Air, Air Force, Force sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And a hygienic douche. <laughs> that scared me. Wait, <laughs> you're not talking about the pilot again, are you? No, not talking about the pilot. <laughs> yeah. Good one, John. So, wow. Uh, yeah. She did her research. Right. She did her, of exactly course. Exactly how yeah. that research went down. Because, you know, we type on the computer. Where were you researching uh -huh, that? Uh -huh. <laughs> In 1940 you, exactly, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, like, you can Google that. So. 
special. And of course, w- what was great was to bring her into this storyline because she's saying it to Barbara, and we yeah. already know mm-hmm. what Barbara's been through with Tom and everything like that. So, mm-hmm. uh, just the whole and the way she said the story, the way Phyllis revealed this. Go ahead, Tamara. Yeah, no, I'm, I was just going to s- speak it. You know, I shall always have fond memories of the oh, place yeah. where they went. He was killed in the war, and then her last phrase, yeah. which was, "It made me very glad that we seized the moment." Yeah. Um, touching and yeah. truthful and and you know and the, I think she said something earlier about uh, I don't think this is the right term she said lacks morality about the war and during the war or something I don't yeah. think that's the term she, she used to that effect, though. Yeah. yeah but you, and you completely get it because mm-hmm. yeah yeah wartime you, you're all striving to just death. feel life and be yeah. alive and all that other stuff so yeah I mean it was just I, and, and it made me because in the beginning again I love the way they they presented her at the beginning it's like oh my god Phil go is good. but then they get this and I go this is why we love you <laughs> exactly bouncing me around you're so like, colored yeah, your story exactly. so mm-hmm. many layers exactly yeah, just loved it. I wonder if she was polished up back then too. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, just a, just a bit, just a bit, just a bit, just a bit, just a little bit, just a little polish. And yeah, the, even just the way she talked about how he was uh, was he was he shot down over Germany. Yeah, somewhere. just mm-hmm. the way she said it. I mean, just this wistful, nostalgic look, and just the just the hint of it mm-hmm. of what could have been and all that other stuff. Was, uh, and what it was like what that. Yes, I mean it was just. Ugh, tasty, tasty stuff. Jam so. busters. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, jam busters, people. Some of yeah. you know what I mean. Home fires. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, w- uh, going back to yeah. Leslie and his turn, because right. it happened when he said, "Will she die?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the reality, reality yeah. of it hit him. She was complaining. She looked like death, death. warmed over. Right. She was having these, you know, seeing spots and things. Mm-hmm. And he just thought, because he didn't know any better, exactly. oh, she just well, needs rest. Yeah, and and I, then, will she die? And I, for me, what the, the way they painted it is he was still in turmoil about his life, life. being over. Yes. Yeah. And it was, oh, he was yeah. just thinking about himself mm-hmm. until he realized... Her life really could uh, Exactly. Be then he stopped thinking about himself. He turned right. all his attention outward, which is obviously when things change things obviously change when you do that mm-hmm. and th- that's why it works for me is that well she uh, yeah and he yeah. wouldn't leave her side and the whole thing barley it. sugar sweets thank you oh, who's we who, that. who did we get that was after? quick <laughs> that was nice <laughs> our crack staff carolyn <laughs> nice yeah. who do we want this i know i think we do i hope okay. i'm saying her name right it's not caroline it's caroline 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 yeah, sorry about that but we're so, not saying her last name. No, I don't know her last name. Please, no, you please. don't. I'm not telling <laughs> you either. It. So okay, but thank um, you. But, for but from that point, you know, will she die? And I'm not going to leave her. <laughs> right. I'm not going to leave her side. That's right. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. The the bond has occurred yeah. and it's not breaking again. Yeah. And then in the voiceover at the end, yeah, I think it was, you know, talking about he grew to love his wife and his family. He was bathing, bathing the, child. the baby. It was like it was precious. Baptism and the whole thing. Yes. Speaking of the babies, I heard about this before I yeah. watched the episode because I get tweets in the afternoon. Right. when it airs in the UK and um, so a couple of people talked about the doe-eyed babies in this yes, you know how because we, we talked uh, yeah, yeah last week I think it was with a, or two weeks ago with the enormous ago, eyes the on the floor mm-hmm. the yeah. enormous eyes yeah, yeah and that, I think maybe they reused that baby because <laughs> It's it's two possible. weeks older now. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but yeah, these. They rebirthed you know, it? Yes. They rebirthed the baby. Huge eyes and yeah. beautiful. And you're just yeah. like, oh, oh, maybe it is all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, John, what else have we got? Oh, uh, well, we have. Let's, uh, we got, we just, we've got to talk the pill because obviously yes. that, that's a big part of this. The pill comes. Uh, Contraception. Yeah, the pill is comes calm. Uh, yeah, and Dr. Turner's, he's all for it. He's ready all to go. Absolutely. Force. Super jumping on board. Uh, and I, well, you know, and if I'm the doctor, yeah, I would because be too. you're yeah. dealing with all kinds of people who are having unwanted pregnancies, and here you find a way that, that can help minimize that. Mm-hmm. And you're going, yeah, it's just a pill, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. I love that his statistic was only 10% of the yeah. babies are born illegitimate. I was like, yeah. is that low? Uh-huh. That yeah. seems a little low. Uh, and there's yeah, a statistic that it prevents 100%. 100%. I go, mm. <laughs> Maybe not so much. Uh, but, you know, of course, we have to have a conflict to that. So mm-hmm. uh, Sister Julian provides that in a, a completely organic method and yeah. way. Um, She's coming at it from the more spiritual, religious side, and which made perfect sense. Exactly, and you know she doesn't want to uh, promote uh, recreational uh, intercourse. intercourse. Thank you very much. And I go, well, wait, why not? <laughs> <laughs> They're already doing it. Exactly. You don't have to promote it. <laughs> Birth promotes it. Yeah. 
But uh, okay, so that's happening, and then you know, uh, uh, an echo of that, we go over to Barbara and Tom, and they're making out like crazy. I the was bit. like, "Are you the preacher? What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, hand <laughs> on the bottom. Yeah, yes. what? Yeah, shocking, shocking. I was shocked, and then the record she put on, and I they know. were dancing. What oh, the oh, hell? Oh, was God, I can't even find the note. I was like, "What is happening? Okay. What is this record Teach me, saying? Tiger, or whatever. Teach, Teach me, me, Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. wow. Exactly. I was like, what is going on? Are they yeah. about to do the nasty in the kitchen? Like, what is happening? I, all, I also tweeted that yeah. YouTube video because yeah. I had to hear it again. It oh was my so God. embarrassing. <laughs> and then, you know, what was what was more embarrassing, I, I thought it was hysterical. I, I was laughing about it. Wow, wow, But then it kept wow. going. The scene kept going. going. And I went, I, what are they, yes. are they running short? Because like, they just let this uh, this one breathe. And, I'm and going, they were supposed to be the goody goodies. Yeah. And he's supposed to be the preacher. So I was like, uh, oh, they're going to make out. It's going yeah. to be a little bit. No, no. they yeah, went yeah, yeah. in. Because, yeah, you like, know, we have actually, we keep forgetting to mention that right. they've kissed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. We forgot it, to talk it about it a couple weeks ago. Exactly. We, we don't really care that much. <laughs> Yeah. We didn't care, and yeah. we didn't. I personally didn't buy it. And uh-huh. then they're like getting it on, yeah. and the kid was like, "Okay." And that's further proof that Barbara's the rebound. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah. He's not even uh, thinking about the moral implications. Further bolstering her prediction. <laughs> nice. Okay. You that's are right. the rebound. Yeah. You put on Trixie's music to yeah. get made out. There with. you go. And he wants to make a dishonest woman of you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. That's how I so you that. still didn't buy it then, right? I like, mean, I bought it. Yeah. That she's the in the moment. Like, you that, bought it in the moment. Yeah, exactly. He, he's, yeah, okay. he's about to explode. He thought he was going <laughs> to make it with Trixie. It didn't work out. He had to wait again. And now he's got Barbara and mm-hmm. he's ready to go. Mm-hmm. He's not mm-hmm. thinking about marriage. He's a like, well, preacher. He's a preacher, exactly. Yeah. And he was fine. Well, part of him's good. I mean, he left a little something on the. Left the grease stain. Oh, my God. The broke room Jerry Curl guy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that was great. Hey, I, I appreciated that moment. The, yeah. the the difficulties of being a brown person with your grease and your <laughs> yeah. hair, and he went yeah. through it too. I guess, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, the, yeah. But it, it was just that it was right there. And so it was <laughs> huge. Exactly. God, was he must have really been like, around. Was you know? And then I thought, why were you against the wall? Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I thought the same Barbara, thing. Barbara, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah who's the um? assertive one in this scenario hey you know whatever well she definitely believes in the pills so, yeah you know. exactly so and then you know when they're all sitting down to eat talking about the the, the barges for a second until yeah. they see the the sign <laughs> <laughs> from another world or the bit of damn <laughs> the ectoplasm yeah <laughs> so Fantastic. Yes, yeah. the ectoplasm. All kinds of stuff. Hmm, what is this? Oh, I just go, oh my God. It has a distinctly God. masculine yeah. smell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not moisture. <laughs> that was a lot just of getting shinier. <laughs> oh, God. Just kept getting worse. Yes, yeah, just kept getting mess. worse. Yeah. So I actually have a spoiler at this point okay. to tell All because. Right. This is because you know there was, we have we had a lot of conversation about sex about recreational intercourse, mm-hmm. you know this thing going on with right. Tom and Barbara. Mm-hmm. And I, my first question for you before I reveal the spoiler is: Will they or won't they? Well, I, I I'm, I'm I gonna mean, go. The way they're headed, I'm, I'm thinking gonna def- they're gonna. I'm gonna defer. He to just, my learned colleague over here. He just didn't seem like he was about to say no at yeah. any point. And even in the discussion when she jumped on him, like, you're supposed to yeah. be the preacher. Now so, you're but then he authority. said, do you believe in pre... Do you... Aghast? Do you believe, believe in premarital, premarital sex? And she says no, but... Mm. Yeah, no but is no where it but. always goes, yeah. right? Mm. Okay, creator Heidi Thomas is quoted in a 2014 interview. Oh, 2014. Quote, we have never had sex in midwife and we never shall. Boom. Oh. Well... That was they haven't, we haven't shown it, but we've seen the result of it. <laughs> That's exactly her point. Yeah. She said, we we talk about the results right. of it, but we will we have not and we will not have actual sex. Well, okay. So but that, doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean they won't that have doesn't sex. Mean they won't. That doesn't mean they won't. They're just not going to. We're not going to. They're not going to really. Uh, we won't be witnessing it. Yeah, we I don't think so. we might I'm see okay the result of what. We might see more grease stains they, on exactly, pillows or whatever. We won't. Let's keep it that at that so they can. <laughs> Not delve into that anymore. On the church pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm so disturbed. In the Tom in the choir just... robe closet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's this on my? All right, choir okay. Robe? He was so aggressive. Real cream. Mm-hmm. What? 
All right, but we also had Patsy and Delia with this whole yeah, thing going on. Yeah, falling asleep together, getting a little bed comfortable. Together. In bed together, yeah, sneaking girl. down the like hall. You better hurry up and wake up. Yeah, you yeah. Know. So and yeah. all this to, with the pill discussion. So just to carry that pill discussion through farther, um, yeah. the whole argument is is, is about the recreational um, intercourse, intercourse, mm-hmm. which is there, and then you know uh, taking. Uh, uh, Re- appropriation away from uh, men. Men. take it out of the men's hands. Sorry, I was trying to avoid saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I think of another idiom and I couldn't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're tired, John. We understand. Exactly. <laughs> so, which I go, women are now taking charge of their own reproduction pr- uh, properties and stuff. And I'm going, well, there you go. That's great. you know. And but there's still all this, t- 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 you know, talk even amongst the women about whether yeah. it's a good idea, bad idea, and you know. right, which is very right. much a foreshadowing yeah. of what's going to happen later mm-hmm. in the '60s mm-hmm. and in the '70s mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. forever from that point on. Exactly. Like, apparently, still right now. Conflict. Debating mm-hmm. it in the Supreme Court. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to all yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> and all, all sides being, uh, that was nice too. So, mm-hmm. and Everybody has yeah. sides. So that was well thought out. Uh, and so, but of course, D- Delia invites Patsy out. Yes. And, you know, like, we, let's we, go with people like us. Right. And, you know, it reminded me that this was kind of Patsy's. Uh, way of separating yourself, much like Daisy's way. We're this. Uh, I don't our, need our anybody community. else. Yeah. Uh, Patsy saying, "I don't need to go anywhere. I just need you." I mean, mm-hmm. it was that kind of same thing going on there. So I thought that parallel was nice. Very nice. So uh, anyway, uh, and uh, so all uh, all kinds of other things are happening, and then the storm hits, of course. Right. And uh, th- then this is where everything dovetails. Everything stacks upon <laughs> each other. We get intercutting like crazy, and you know. Yeah, stories are. Uh, yeah, the gale uh, happens. Stories, the gale. Yeah, and we see Fred looking. Up and, th- and again, that's a great shot. I love the shot, the angle, and everything. Yeah. They had some nice things Thing going that on. Fell down. Yeah, mm-hmm. the antenna, mm-hmm. and I, you know, of course, Monica Jones still <laughs> thinking that some emanation is going to come in <laughs> yeah. from another world. Yeah, <laughs> so, could happen. Uh, oh, and uh, all that happening while they're they're still discussing the pill, and uh, and uh, and then. All the phone calls. Everybody's having a baby yeah. all at once. All at once. All we got the Mrs. Got Montour the at the clinic. Oh, because there's a full moon. Yeah. Yes. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. yes. I, I missed that part the of it. I forgot that that was what triggered everything. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Ostensibly and allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, and then uh, what do we got? So we got uh, Phyllis going out to catch up with Gina. We've got uh, Trixie heading out, picking up the woman, bringing her back, back to the to clinic. Work. Mrs. Monster, as I mentioned, somebody, uh, Dr. Turner's in the surgery, somebody else. else. It's just needs to be so needs all stitches. There's no light. Yeah. So everybody birthing baby right now. Timothy's yep. working the working generator. The yeah. <laughs> it's a community but it, it was kind of exciting. I love the yeah. editing. We, you know, and Phyllis hangs with the phone. Boom, we cut right to the car. Boom, boom. And we I loved that. Yeah, yeah, it was a great that shot. Was cool. Yeah. And oh, was there anything else? Your eyes got real wide. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> yeah. All right. I always think, say marvelous things, John. <laughs> Don't you know that by now? Um, uh, but, of course, so all that happens, we've already talked about the results of everything, but so then it's the next day, mm-hmm. the storm is over, and, of course, what who do we happens? find amongst the rubble? rubble. Rising from the rubble. I really did think rubble. somebody was right. going to be dead and buried. I was yeah. like, because it was too. a very like calm episode yeah. for the most part. And I was like, oh my God, are yeah. one, is one and of the midwives dead? That's what I was thinking. Like, like, who have you seen? Winifred? Winifred? Who, who got? Yeah. yeah. Never so. surrender! <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it was good that she... It was good because earlier it. in the earlier in the episode, uh, Ma- uh, Julian talks to uh, Mary Cynthia. Yeah. Uh, about you know giving her time mm. uh, uh, and to recover, how, her, and she's she's admirable. lauding her recovery already. But you, need, but I can't spare you because of Monica Joan. And then Monica, uh, Julian and Monica, I'm sorry, not Monica Joan. Eva- Evangeline is away. But yeah. Mon- Monica Joan and Julian had their conversation with uh, mm-hmm. on the porch with the apples, apples that are with being all the apples. left, the stinking and, apples, and stinking apples, and the marrow and the once in a while, apple, whatever it is. The marrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the letter, and 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 I just the Monica <laughs> Joan, and the way, the, 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 the way she throws those apples down, and that she's so distraught about it, frustrated. yeah, frustrated. Mm-hmm. So when she comes back, uh, you know, and, and she she put on a brave face, right, Evangeline? She did, nice, right? So I didn't catch d- d- it at when all. did you catch it? When no, <coughs> didn't catch it. When I did not catch it. Not I was until really mad. Not myself. until it was revealed. Yeah, yeah. she but the well, words were I spoken. I was like, how did I not see that? I noticed something on the rubble. Uh, because she I covered didn't. it well, because he kept trying to help her up, and she never and gave his uh, gave her hand. She kept, you know, making the thing. And she, I don't know, what, what? But she had the suitcase. I know, she but was she kept it from the wrong hand. side. She See, I knew doing, you would notice going, that. Why is she doing that? And then when she was working with the, you know, uh, sterilization, yeah. sterilizing everything and stuff, and I'm going, what, the, what's going on? And then, you know, and then finally, of course, it's revealed. Yeah. And I didn't see it coming. I didn't either. But I, I thought they, it was so. 
nuanced. I mm-hmm. love the subtle. Yeah. I love the way they did it. So, but it was just enough. Anyway, uh, and uh, can we just talk about how Monica Jones yeah. came back in? Yeah. I mean, was that did that do that for you? I love her. Just so like, she's the personification of joy and relief. I yes. think it just literally just made me smile. Yeah, I mean, that's what I wrote down. Know, <laughs> I, was, I was watching. I was loving it and everything. And then I noticed, ah, oh, damn it! Then I had to wipe a tear. <laughs> Uh, ah, damn. Um, speaking of Sister Monica yeah. Joan, I want to talk about. Um, so last week's episode, we had you know Sister Mary Cynthia and Monica Joan walking through the hallway right. and yes. steadying herself before she yes. went, and then they did that. Yes. I can't even say the words, but the bath yeah. scene yeah. that was so <laughs> devastatingly mm-hmm. kind. Mm-hmm. So Catherine Smith on YouTube mm-hmm. um, mentions this, and she says, "When Sister Monica Joan stumbled in the hallway with the enormity of her emotions, I hope yeah. I can read this without crying." Um, after Sister Mary Cynthia's attack, I thought immediately of the Dowager Countess faltering mm-hmm. in the hallway of Downton Abbey in front of Carson after Lady Sybil died. Yeah. Both women are heartbroken and, and then put aside out. their distress yeah. to go in and help others. Monica Joan to bathe Mary Cynthia and the Dowager to comfort her family. The Dowager reached out so, put her hand so on the so pillar. Yeah. To steady herself, yes. right? Yes. And Eric, Monica Joan. So I thought that was an amazing yeah. was a good, good call. Good. Call yeah. and, a, yeah. and an amazing yeah. parallel. Yeah. And again, just Sister Monica Joan and her um, she does so much with mm-hmm. with no words. Mm-hmm. Well, and here's the the thing that I love about it is you have these women who have lived decades. They've seen everything. They've <laughs> yep. been through everything. Experienced everything. And you can understand the enormity of what they're feeling just by that because yeah. they carry so much with them. And yeah. then you can you and they don't have to say anything. You just feel it all. Just love those moments. You love you find it. Find those little tiny moments. And beautifully shot and yeah. beautifully, beautifully composed posed. and yeah. And beautifully lit and, and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um but the the joy on her face and then yeah. the moment where they're speaking scripture to yes. each other. Yes. I, I I I completely lost uh, presence of mind about what the hell they were saying because <laughs> yeah, I was neither. just so <laughs> enamored of their looks and the way they I don't even remember what they were saying mm-hmm. but obviously they spoke a language they both understood for I will not leave you know yeah that, that I got that part but I, I until then I was just I was so happy that she, that Monica Joan was so, so uh, happy. ebullient yeah yeah yeah, yeah, she was yeah. Overjoyed. Now yeah. go see if there is any cake in the tent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank that's you for really I, important. I need to cut all that with some Bring little it back thing. to yeah, something exactly. that's really Thank important. You, and then and then afterwards we have that the, the conversation with uh, Julian and and Evangeline in the in the mm-hmm. whatever little park not park, I'm sorry. The, the, garden. the garden. garden. Thank you. She knows and something's reveals wrong. Her. And the whole idea that God had something for her, you know, she wanted <laughs> to go away. <laughs> To be silent. I didn't love that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what to say about it. Okay. I get you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, And then, okay. So we got to finish up the last bit uh, because when we go back into the voiceover, we get to see the resolution of all these storylines. What was was anyone that stood out to you? All of them? Was what? what We didn't talk about Trixie Trixie. at the AA meeting. Oh, you got it right. Thank you for reminding me. And her maraschino cherries. Right. So talking about her journey of sobriety and that life without a drink can be so So appallingly boring. Mm -hmm. But then I know that fun doesn't come in bottles. Yeah. I, and this was another uh, slight departure from what we usually see in the show because this was just pretty much, uh, you know, just her just in the scene. Her. And it was a long mm, scene. Monologue. Yeah, long, it long. was a monologue. Yeah. A little soliloquy. Uh, handled it nicely. I mean, yeah. and I, I love the composition too. Just that oh, that wide shot where we saw everybody yes. around her, her in the red dress there. And red. Right. Looks good. Or you know, when the maraschino kept cherry close red up dress. On her mouth yeah. And uh-huh. she was talking about the cherries and then out. And then when she's talking about mixing the drinks and feeling the part, you're just like, oh, I'm so there. Like, I just, mm-hmm. yeah. And as were the other people who were yeah. listening to her, yeah. the guy was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She even looked like a Campari with something in it to make it look yeah. like, you know what I mean? She She's like smoking so her cigarette. Exactly. Like, it was great. It was yeah. very well done. And I, and I, you know, I was kind of surprised that they let that scene uh, breathe, breathe like that. Like that. Yeah. I, you know, and, and again, that's courageous these days because they normally don't let those things, mm-hmm. you, you have to cut them quickly and all this other right. stuff. But yeah, they let that one go. And I'm sure she had a fun time doing it. Yeah. No yeah. kidding, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate the match of the character because so much of Trixie was in that bedroom making drinks for everybody, having yeah. a good yes. time. Yeah. So yeah. to allow that to mm-hmm. sort of discussion to really happen and us to mm-hmm. see her work through it like that, I appreciate that. For and there was character. also that setup just before she had that because the last time we saw her before <coughs> mm-hmm. that, she you know she's primping, she's putting the foundation on. No, it. Right. Even in that in that as we that scene happened, I went, 
Why, what, why what's this about? about? This about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure if, if the, the scene would still hold up if you had removed that, and mm -hmm. you, you know, but I thought it was a nice moment again <coughs> to take that time to have that. So, for sure. All right. uh, okay, so we, talking about the resolution again, I, I liked the the callback from the opening sequence. We had Julian, uh, Sister Julian, I in the sanctuary, so to speak, like yeah. candles mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and then we saw Evangeline at the end. Evangelina, she's back there, and you know, she's having her moment, moment in that sanctuary too and stuff like that and there's just something rather uh, well obviously it's a bookend it's very synchronicitous I liked it um, but it also reminded me of that one shot with Sister Evangeline when I'm sorry Sister Julian when she's it, in, her in her office, office. I loved that the white yeah. thing there and she's and you know she's she tells Mary Cynthia yeah, yeah um, she declines tea <laughs> and says, asks uh, her to say the grace for her and stuff like that and I, everything was weighing on her too. It wasn't just the pill. It was Evangeline the whole thing. And I thought those three, her in the sanctuary, her in the office, and then Evangeline at the end, there was made a nice yes. little story for me. Yeah. So that for me, and then of course she bites the apple with relish. Now, I don't know if that <laughs> apple has anything to do with the Garden of Eden, but she was eating it with relish. Just put it that <laughs> way. So. Yes, she was relish every moment. Yes, and that that was a nice thing too. Joy, take the joy where you can. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. We don't. We there's that's a new theme we haven't heard in this. Yeah. That's true. All right, we got we're uh, running long. And things to change. We need to find a new way. Like. What do you have? Um, I have a little bit of news. All right, let's get our news. After Buzz yeah. TV news. Um, Susanna Hart, who is the daughter of Jennifer Worth, mm. who wrote the books that yeah. the show was based on. Um, was interviewed because she's doing a, um, she's talking about Call the Midwife at um, an event at North Watford Library. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to edit this before <coughs> I came over. Um, in March, in late March, March 24th at 2.30. Okay. So she's, she's you know, they're doing probably a QA and a there. Um, but she talked about a few things that I just thought were really interesting. So her mother wrote the books and never expected that they would be made right. into anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they were made into the series. She was very surprised, but she passed away. Mm. Her funeral took place one week before they started filming the series, so she actually oh, never saw. Oh no! That is, that is so called the midwife. That tragedy. I know, isn't yeah. it? Oh my God! Um, but a legacy. Anyway. So Susanna so. said, we visited the set a number of times while the filming was going on, and when it finally came on the air, it's almost impossible to describe the feeling. It was an absolute thrill, and it kept her memory alive for us. I'm going to cry right now. I know. She goes on to say, I think she would have been absolutely delighted, but most importantly, she would have been pleased with the way that they kept the spirit of her work running through the TV series. Yeah. I think that the actress who played my mother, Jessica Rain, um, really did a good job. No one really knew what she was like back then, so I think Jessica did a marvelous job of portraying her. Um, and Susanna describes her mother as being an extraordinary woman who sometimes had little regard for the rules. Ooh. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> her favorite memory was when Susanna was around seven years old. She says, my mom took me to, and my younger sister Juliet on a bike ride on a lovely sunny afternoon when we should have been at school, she laughs. But she was loving and, and a caring person who was very concerned about us being independent girls. And, you know, just wanted them to be out and have fun. She says she was truly an amazing person and, as I said, a hard act to follow. We will continue to watch Call the Midwife, and we are pleased as just as pleased as we were when it came out. Yay. Which I think is another thing to say about this show. Um, they keep figuring out <coughs> new ways to make this subject matter something that we want to see every single week because a lot of times there's a bit of an ebb and a flow yeah. with mm -hmm. some of these shows and the co consistency and the quality is amazing mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. so this is happening at north watford library march 24th at 2 30. Mm -hmm. um so uh, you folks there enjoy that day jolly all you can let us know how that. it goes yeah all right um i have some shout outs oh good <coughs> ms Las nikita Catherine smith thank you anna in ireland the other anna as well caroline in london helena huang aurelia ansa mm -hmm. laura green woody joe susan burrows and don wood thank hey. you very thank much you for all of your appreciate you thanks for being the research team yeah, too. <laughs> yeah the crack staff the information <laughs> we are crack we love it so we I got one it. left 
One left. Uh, One left. I mean, already I'm getting tweets from people saying, you know, um, that they're scared about what. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I mean, this is going to be like we had two intense episodes, uh, and then this was kind of like, oh, yeah. I mean, magical. we had a big storm, but it was. Yeah, but it was like was everything a, worked yeah. out, yeah. and yeah. you know, we ended up they're in love us up. and they're holding us hands. Up. Setting us up. It's Stephanie who gosh. is talking about mm-hmm. um, being ridiculously nervous about the series finale. Now, the thing is, is that we know from this show that right. they break our hearts yeah. almost. every every episode right. but by the end there is a glimmer of hope right. there is a light yeah. there is a possibility yes. there's something to keep us going stop the tears oh. just a little <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? right so that's why i'm not terrified about mm-hmm. the finale but <sighs> i'm fine I'll, i i want to be brutalized i want to be terrorized i want to i want to feel it all yeah, yeah. 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 i'm serious i say like, go ahead um Whatever you want, I'm you know, I'm with you on the ride because you, you've proven yourself. So let's let's do it. Let's I'm there. Let's do it. I just can't imagine what it's going to be. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. like. What? Well, actually, you know, normally we talk about doing predictions, but we're not going to because I don't want to this yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we on, on many other shows we've done we a lot predict of predicting. All the time. Everybody yeah. dies. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know why I'm not interested in that. I think because I I really like being surprised. I yeah. trust them so much in their yeah. choices and the manner in which they do it. That I just want to let just it feel come like you're in me. good hands. I am. Yes. So I, I don't want to be ahead of them. I want to just let it unfold the way they want it to. That is so unusual for you. It is. Because you're the guy who figures out the story. Everything. You're the writer. Yeah. You're the guy who's like, like oh, no, I knew this. from the first season that this was going to happen because <laughs> this so happened obvious. in the first three minutes <laughs> of episode two. And I'm like, why do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every I, once in a while, I see something that you don't but see. But you're present. But yeah. You're living in the moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And just loving it. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Um, I've been midwifed. <laughs> quick and interesting observation. Kirsten Brown, talking about it on Twitter, she mm-hmm. says, in the Trixie scene, they, the in the AA meeting, right. mm-hmm. they will likely cut that out when they show the show in the United States, since it does get cut for time. Oh, that's true. The yeah, I didn't see what the longer. time. Yeah, I didn't see what the time was on this one. Uh, it was remember. long. I yeah. think it was. I think it was almost an, a full hour. Yeah, I would. You know, I wish they wouldn't do that, but they do. But yeah, they have to, they and have it's funny strength. because since we watch things as they're aired in the UK, when people when it airs in the US yeah. and people watch Downton Abbey or Call the Midwife, they're like, "What are you talking, talking about? That scene wasn't <laughs> in there." <laughs> see that? Yeah, exactly. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you're missing fair. out. Um, Get the director's cut. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you, Kirsten, for that. Yes. And interesting, interesting observation. So, we okay. do have to get going. That's true. All right, let's yes. uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Twitter and Instagram, at Stuart Starlet. At Tamara Berg on Twitter. And TamaraCentral.com is my website. That's right. Okay, and you find me here next week with these lovely ladies. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. I know, we're yeah, sad we're already. It'll be <laughs> March and it'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, we'll see you next time for a Call the Midwife After Show. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After Shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Cup of tea. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.